It's not easy to talk about uh, complications at the beginning of the day because uh, typically you want to see the sun in the morning. So typically you want to see beautiful cases, beautiful smiles, beautiful results. But the reality is that indeed we do have complications. And today we will not talk about this type of complications. These are not complications. These are horrors, miserable disasters, criminals. Um, and basically, these things happen because osteointegration integration is easy. Every implant, almost every implant, do, does osteointegrate. And so many dentists think that implant dentistry is basically to get osteointegration, is to get primary stability. But that's not the point. The point is to have long-term results from the beginning. So I like very much to share with these thoughts with ITI fellows and members because from the beginning, they try, they try a lot, a lot hard to search for long-term success. The complications we'll talk about today are cases like this. You see here we have two beautiful stroman implants, tissue-level implants, properly placed, properly restored. And if I don't show you the X-ray, and if I don't show you the surgical picture, you may say, good. So why do these things happen, and what can we do? The other thing I want to talk about, or only a few minutes, is to make sure you don't make a confusion between perimplantitis and loss of integration. Look at this case. She's a medical doctor. She has received uh, an implant uh, about uh, 16 years before.